back, relax, and let's hit it again. While you go tell your mother, father, cousin, the kid, and your brother, friends, that don't even have a Ladies and gentlemen, we are back at the DCW Arena, and it's back in session. I can't believe it. It's the end of the summer. The students are here, and I'm excited for some action tonight. Uh, it's Tom Sherlock here with Lauren Garner. Lauren, are you excited for back in session? I couldn't be more excited than I currently am. If, if, if I were, you'd have to call a doctor. And sadly, the only one I've seen here today is Dr. Psycho. But we're about ready to get started with our first action tonight coming into the ring. A fan favorite, someone who has, has been with DCW since the very beginning. And funnier enough, he started wrestling just by showing up one day. It's Tom Chad. Yeah, that makes sense. That's kind of uh, Tom Chad's M.O. coming from the Derriere Farm. DCW original. Uh, like you said, fan favorite. Bringing the pineapple power. And I'm excited to see tonight what he has in store for his opponent from Rocky Mountain Pro. That's right. He's going to be taking on one Mercury Yaden yeah, how about uh, that? tonight. This is uh, Mercury Yaden's second time here at Devotion Championship Wrestling. However, he's not with his uh, best boy, uh, uh, Curtis Cole, this, right. this, this week. Uh, so it'll be interesting to see how he does in solo action sure. uh, so far from home. Incredible as one half of the tag dudes tonight. We're going to see solo action for Mercury Aiden. Speaking of Mercury Aiden, coming to the ring right now, Mercury Aiden. Yeah, we got Mercury Aiden coming out. So I, what, do, what do you think? What do you think? Who has an advantage here? There's different styles. I mean, sure. Tom Chad's a, a bigger guy. Sure. Um, but, but, I mean, both of these guys are very charismatic. Well, so, I mean, who, so, so, who feeds off the crowd? So here's the thing. I think I think in his prime, Mercury Yaden was Jim Tuff. Oh, in his prime. In his prime. Now, as you can see now, he's, st he's, still, he's still rocking Jim culture. Yeah. Okay. But I don't know if he's rocking that Jim bod. Okay. Now, you've got Jim Tuff. Okay. And then right. right here with Tom Chad, you've got Farm Tough, exactly. right? No, I you, understand You've that. got Practical Tough. He's out there changing pipe. He's milking cows. He's bulldogging actual cows from whence the term we get, bulldogging, right? Mercury right. Yaden so, out here. Sure. Uh, I mean, I mean, people love to hate him. Uh, I, I, I happen to really appreciate his intro music. Yeah, well, I don't know anything about being him being past his prime. We did see him doing his stretches there as he was coming to the ring. So, uh, I mean, more experienced than Tom Chad. So he has the experience advantage. How I'll many, give you that. How many juicy sweat shoots, sweatsuits did he have to cut up to make his singlet? Yeah, well, Tom Chad appealing to the fans here, trying to get everybody behind him. Uh, Mercury Yaden, not quite as popular with the DCW fans. Last uh, last show he was uh, in Salt Lake City, he was jaw jacking the folks in the front row. He was. He was. He was. He was taking things a little bit personal. Um, and uh, let's see if he can just let that behind him and actually get into some action tonight. Like we said, folks, Tom Sherlock here with Lauren Garner, and it is so great to be calling DCW action again here at Back in Session. Now, right now, Mer yeah, Mercury Yaden is upset because uh, our, our official, Ian, asked if he was ready, and Yaden said that he didn't reply. Uh, Ian right. assumed that he gave a, a head nod saying that he was ready, um, and so he just asked, are you ready now? Well, he's the official. He, Ian, Ian's the official. He's the one who's in charge here. you got to respect his decision. He's, he's the guy laying down the law in this competition. Oh, okay. Uh, Yaden apparently is... is, is What's uh, he asking for? He's... Tom he, Chad says he, he, just, wants he, he wants to bite his face off. He just wants to bite his face off. It's time to go. It's time to fight. Look, I don't know what Yaden's doing here, but here at DCW, we fight. Okay, I, th I think... I think, yep, yep. We're getting, okay. some, we're get, we're getting around the ring. We're, we're getting ready for some... From, some some big brawl in action from these two uh, uh, house hounds here. Yeah, Mercury with the calisthenics there, except for it looks like he gave up no, at the yeah, last well, second. He, he would, a, yeah, we okay. were, yeah, yeah. Sometimes you got to pace yourself. I see what you yourself. were saying earlier. I see yourself. what you were saying. Yeah. Fan Pose, posing for the camera as well. I this has got to be frustrating. He's playing mind games with Tom Chad is what he's well, doing. Well, he, he's playing mind games uh, with him, and he's also taking his time. Uh, Tom Chad, I'm... He doesn't have the longest attention span. Well, here we go. Uh, back to the calisthenics. But this time, Tom Chad returns the favor playing Goes mind out. games with Oh, what's Mercury. that? He's getting a nacho. Nachos? Wait a minute. That's his, that's his pre-workout? Hey, if it works, go with it. Tom Chad has now got nacho. Hey, Tom, Tom Chad seems to be a little more pumped up now that he had the nachos. Wow. Oh, look at that. Yeah, fans reacting well. This actually reminds me of of uh, Manny Lemons when he gets the 
gets the uh, the lemons and it gives him the, uh, the extra power. power. Yeah, yeah. This is a nacho hold yeah. up, if you will. No, no pineapple power up, but a nacho power up. Let's see if it's gonna work here. Do nachos belong on pizza? Uh, do nachos because pineapples do. According to Tom Chan, According yes, Tom yes, they yes they do. Uh, I think he also puts ranch on on his uh, lasagna as well. That makes sense as these two competitors. Uh, lock up in the center of the ring with Mercury Yaden getting the best of Tom Chad to start out. Wow, no, they're pretty even oh, that's actually. A a smart face move swipe. though for Yaden putting his hands right up across his eyes. That's you can't see, uh, you can't direct anyone's head if your eyes are, are palmed, if you will. Yeah, well, if the mind games have failed and the wrestling looks like it's gonna fail, then rake a guy's eyes. That's Mercury Yaden's deal. Well, you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Hooking back up once again, these two bulls in the center Strong of the ring. Long collar and elbow. Referee Ian looking on. Yep, it's still a break. You see the power, still the power behind Tom Chad. Yaden was having to crane his neck back just to keep from, from being pulled down under. Yeah, well, we were talking about who would have an advantage here. They're pretty, pretty even so far. Not with the fans, but definitely with the wrestling. Well, the fans don't decide the outcome, Tom, so I don't, I don't know why we need to get hung up on that. That's true. These two competitors mirroring each other, looking for the best advantage, best possible. Are we looking for an angle here to lock up? All right. Good lockup right here. Third lockup in the center oh, of the ring. Oh, man, like two Mack trucks in a pulling contest. Oh, there we go. Now we've got some wrestling going on. We've got Mercury oh, Yaden with that side headlock. Down. Yeah, he that. is now, cranking it. He needs to sprawl out. Not going to happen, though. Here we go. Tom Chads whips Yaden off the ropes. Yaden comes back. Double belly bump. Stalemate again. Uh-uh-uh, says Tom Chad. Both competitors going off the ropes. Now, wait a minute. I, Both this is not a marathon, I and I mean a literal marathon. I don't think this is going to end well for either of them. Now, I was about to ask you, uh, as the match went on, who it was going to, uh, who would have the advantage. But I, I, I think no the, one has the advantage right now. The official would have the advantage. Yeah. It would be easier to keep up with the two of them the longer this goes. Pretty poor... Uh, Exhibition of calisthenics so far. Well, you know, opponents. you weigh 300 pounds and hit the ropes like that. It's, uh, oh, there we go. Now we're back to the brawling that we expected to see when this match started. It's Mercury Yaden gets in it. Some good strikes on Yeah, Tom I think Yaden is, is now ready to, uh, to employ his it, game plan, it right? Doesn't, it doesn't matter if you're 300 pounds if you're down on all fours. Oh, oh, not gonna happen. Well, but it does matter if you're 300 pounds and someone's trying to slam you. Oh, oh, oh the tickle that? attack! The tickle attack from Tom Chad. That's some unconventional offense. Ah, he's all about having a good time. He's here to party. Looking for a vertical suplex here is Oof, Yaden. That's a I think his eyes might be bigger than his stomach on this one. Yeah, he's, he's not getting the leverage he needs to get the big 300-pounder up. And, yep, he's oh. wrenched his back in doing it. Now, this is going to come back to bite him in, in that velour bottom of his. There's no, there, now, but see what he did. He was smart. He got to the corner, and he uh, bought himself a little bit of time. Dirty and underhanded, but bought himself. Look at that! Back body drop. Wow! The bigger they are, the harder they the fall. The harder Lord. they fall, and the harder it is to come back after something like that for both of them. I think they have both might have uh, blown a gasket, so to speak. Pin attempt by uh, Yaden. Ian in position with a two count, but we're not going to get any further than that. No, oh, not with Tom, Tom Chad. Chad going back to the nacho well right now. We, we, this is no time he for has, a snack. He has got another nacho, and he's feeling it. Oh, he's hulking up again. He is feeling it. Nacho! Tom Chad's feeling the nacho power. I can't believe I just said that. Fans are chanting nacho clearly behind Tom Chad and his ethnic eateries. Oh, man. Look at that. He's just wrenching on that wrist of Mercury Yaden. Now he's got both of All them. All the while still chomping on what's left of the nacho in his mouth. Looks like Ian's making sure that everything's okay there. Like we're, not, uh, we're not choking. We're not uh, breaking any rules with that. Knuckle lock. Ooh. Man, I tell you what, that is a hard punch. Anytime you've got a strike that's going downward from the top down, you've really got to watch out not to not to hurt yourself. Oh, look at that. Look at that elbow. Two count, not enough. Two Tom count. Chow gets the right shoulder up. Now, I mean, it's a series of strikes, but then while Tom Chad's down, Yaden's using his experience advantage to make sure he keeps him down. Absolutely, Smart. absolutely. No, it is. This, I mean, uh, to, to use the, the term seasoned uh, doesn't do it justice. Uh, were, do you think the nachos were seasoned? 
Uh, you know what? I actually had some of the nachos earlier tonight, and oh. they, they are they are seasoned well. Oh, oh big what a chop! Big chop from Tom Chad. Yaden tries one. Oh, no way! Oh Inverted atomic, atomic drop. Atomic drop off the rope. Tom Chad with a leg lariat. Oh, so bought lariat bringing him down. Well, that's gotta is that be it. it? That's oh, gotta be it. I think this is it. We're gonna see it right here. Tom Chad can fly. We're gonna see it right here. Should we go party, he asks. Yeah, well, you, you, you're darn right we should go party. Y Yaden looks like he's a party pooper. Goes yeah. in. That's Tom Chad taking too much Comes time. Comes off the ropes. Oh. And. Oh, here it comes. Oh, churning Churn butter. Churning butter in in position. That's a three count. Tom Chad beats Mercury Yaden with the churning butter. Can you believe that was incredible? That's a big guy. Wow. I am wholly impressed. And Tom it looks like Farm Tough is the tougher of the two toughs. Tough night. It's going to be a long ride back to Colorado for uh, Mercury Yaden. I mean, you come to Salt Lake City and you're facing Tom Chad, you know you're going to be in a fight. So he had to expect you this. Yeah, expect it. Hopefully he's, he's uh, uh, got some credits on his Audible account. He can listen to uh, some stuff that will keep him going. I, I don't think he's going to have service the whole way. He can't listen to his own Twitch stream that way. And Tom Chad, in the uh, in brotherly fashion, is offering him some nachos. But I think, I think Yaden might be... Might be feeling a little bashful about his size and how it malaffected him this evening. Yeah, I, I, I can't, I can't imagine he's feeling very well after that churning butter. So I, 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 I don't think he's gonna accept the knock.